Today, we will see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to fractions. Misconception 1. What will be the fraction to represent the shaded part in the given figure? Sometimes, while representing a fraction, it is understood that the numerator corresponds to the number of shaded parts of the figure and the denominator corresponds to the remaining part that is not shaded. By doing so, the fraction is represented as part by part. This is a misunderstanding. It leads to the incorrect answer, option 1. It is important to understand that denominator corresponds to the total number of equal parts of a whole. In this case, 5 is the denominator. Similarly, numerator is the number of parts taken. Here, number of shaded parts is 2. This means 2 out of total 5 parts are considered. Therefore, the numerator is 2. In this figure, shaded part is represented by this fraction, that is 2 by 5. So, option 2 is the correct answer. Now, let's understand some common mistakes related to fractions. If you are asked to find the fraction representing the shaded part in this figure, the total number of parts is written as the denominator and the number of shaded parts is represented as numerator. Thus, it results in an incorrect answer 1 by 4. To represent in fraction, first of all it is necessary to check whether all the parts are equal or not. Here, parts are not equal. Therefore, we cannot represent the shaded part as a fraction. Sometimes, it is not understood correctly that equal parts can be formed in different ways. For example, if you have four papers and you divide them into two equal parts, then how will you do it? Think for a while. Let me tell you. One way is to keep two out of four papers in each section. It will result in two equal parts. Another way is to cut each paper into two equal parts by using different ways. When you keep a half in each section, you will still get two equal parts of four papers. Similarly, there could be many ways to divide the papers. But we get two equal parts in all the cases. Today, we have seen some misconceptions and common mistakes related to fractions. Music